All right, we are back with the Arsenal career mode. So in this episode, we probably have the toughest uh, decision of the series to make. And that is regarding this man's future. We have been approached by Bayern Munich. They want to sign Gabriel Jesus. And we did a vote. And I don't think you guys have been ever this split on one of our votes. Like it's pretty close to being 50-50. So the future of Gabriel Jesus will be settled in this episode, be resolved. And we also probably look to make a few more signings at the very least. So as usual, you guys smashed uh, the like goal in the last episode. So I appreciate that so much. I'm glad you guys are still enjoying the series all the way into season four. So if you want to keep seeing the series, and of course, drop a like on the video and also hit that sub button down below. Okay, first comment. I think you should keep Emil Smith-Rowe as he can be that dynamic player who can play as center mid, center forward, and winger. Plus, he's an academy player. Yeah, I mean, Smith-Rowe has been a player that his future is in question pretty much for a lot of the series. But I think I think the comments are right. He's a very dynamic player, play on the wing at cam. So I think the plan is for us to keep him for now. That's the plan. We'll see if that changes. And next one, I think you should sign Curtis Jones for more depth in the midfield position. Yeah, I don't think I've signed Curtis Jones this year. I've wanted to in a different series, but we haven't done it yet. And since we sold Gundogan, we don't really have a midfielder, like a box-to-box -box mid. Just kidding, I lied. We do. We have Charlie Patino. Now, he's been on loan for three seasons, and now he's a 76 overall. And that's not, like, that's not amazing, but he has the potential to be a special tag. And I think since he has that, I kind of want to give him a chance to actually play in this team. I don't think he's going to play a whole lot, but he can play, like, rotation games for Tillemans. And I'm pretty sure he's got 90-plus potential, so I think I'd rather use him than signing another midfielder. And last one, I would love to see a West Ham career mode. Now, that sounds like a series that a Curtis Jones signing would actually make a lot of sense, I think. And honestly, a West Ham career mode actually sounds pretty nice. It's a team that I've never done before. They have a lot of players that also I've never used before. Like, I've never used uh, Bowen, never used Antonio, players like that. So that doesn't sound too bad. It honestly doesn't sound too bad. Okay, so we got this offer for Gabriel Jesus from Bayern Munich. We did a vote on my community tab, or a poll. And at the time of recording this, it is 55% keep Jesus and 45% sell. I don't think I've ever had a poll on my channel that close. Usually it's like 60-30. But this one's pretty close to being 50 50 and i think that totally makes sense because on one side i think it would be nice to like have some change to this team sell jay seuss playing kunku at center forward i think it would be nice to see some change but on the other side jay seuss has been the best player of this series by far and like if we do lift the champions league it would be so much nicer with like the main man of the series lifting it with us so i'm gonna make this more dramatic we're gonna reject this uh this Bayern offer but this doesn't mean we're not selling him I still think if a Real Madrid or Barcelona come in for Jesus then it's gonna be very hard to say no to that but I think we can say no to Bayern Munich so he's he's towards the direction of staying with us but it's not we're not clear out of the water yet okay look at this Martin Odegaard just a view from the dressing room boss but I've been watching the progress Smith Rowe has been made recently and the impact down off the bench wondering if it might be time to reward him with a starting place soon so we can see what he can do I don't know if I've ever seen this message before from a captain it's kind of interesting uh we'll say I'll think about it but hey look at even Odegaard wants us to keep Smith Rowe so it's kind of funny but a player that is not saying is Gabriel Gabriel has been sold to Roma so pretty much solidifies Saliba and Frederick Rowe being our center back partnership for this season and we have Teze who could be a backup and I think we do need another center back at some point one more okay so an offer from Real Madrid but for Eze instead of Gabriel Jesus um Eze is a player he's been here for two years we, I think he only played five games last season. So I think especially with us keeping Smith Rowe, I think uh, Ramage on Eze, and we got to let him go, I think. Especially with Patino coming in, we have players who can play in that kind of, those kind of spots. So I think it's a decent move for both parties. And Eze gets to go to Real Madrid. That's a pretty good transfer. Okay, Ancelotti, can you give me some money, though? Can you give me some cash? 38.5. And okay, why did my screen just glitch? I think they accepted though. Okay, so, so that actually crashed my game, that that transfer offer for uh for Eze. And it didn't save. So we can pretend that offer fell through and it didn't didn't even happen, I guess. So Eze is still transfer listed. So now instead we have an offer for Tavares from Chelsea. And it's a player we are trying to sell to. So hopefully my game doesn't crash this time, because that would be a bit annoying. Just do 24 million and now we'll accept that, and we can replace him probably a better player than uh than him. And they do accept and my game does not crash. Okay, Inter want Telemans. So I'm not giving up Telemans though. And Gabriel sold for the second time. So still happens. So Tavares sold. So Eze is still here as of now. And now we got Liverpool. Still no offer for Jesus. So he's got to play this game. Now, first game of the season, we won 5 0. It was pretty much a slapping. But Jesus wasn't himself because his future is in question. So let's play Liverpool. Um, I want to try Saka in the midfield though. We're going to try that. I'm going to start Cornelius in. We're going to try this and see how it works. Because Saka actually has better defending than Odegaard. So I do feel like he could play in the midfield. So we're going to play this and then pretty much decide on Jay Seuss after this game probably. And I mean, hey, if Jay Seuss happens to score a hat trick, score two goals, it might impact our decision. It might. We'll see though. This is the season where we want to take the leap. We, we got to win the Champions League this season. We're trying to defend our Premier League title for the second time in a row. We're trying to do the three-peat in the Prem. And I do feel like we usually have a good time facing Liverpool. We usually get the uh, better of them. So the confidence is flowing. 
Okay, Odegaard, what, you, Odegaard, what What was that? That was an absolute stinker. Okay, we got a midfielder Saka here with a lot of pace, which probably helps in a lot of departments. And Kunku shoots. That is uh, going to be blocked, though. So Liverpool have a front three of Salah, uh, Memphis Depay, their new signing of Luis Diaz. I mean, it's an interesting front three. That is a corner sent in Ramsdale. Ramsdale, Ramsdale, Ramsdale. What was that? I don't want to see it again. Ball to Cornelison. Dennis Bergkamp, his, his ghost, his reincarnation. And Cornelison, he's got 91 long shots. I mean, that one was, it was all right. Okay, Mo Salah's got a lot of pace here. He's got the turn on Tierney. Um, he, just, he just crossed the ball into Tierney's face, though. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. And that is a decent corner. Van Dyke gets to it, but that's going to be it's gonna be wide of the net. I think it's probably one of the best starts Liverpool have had against us, I think. Probably due to competitor mode, our new new-ish sliders. Okay, Saka to Jesus. Oh, Saka, you got to get that to Jesus. Okay, I actually feel like they might score first. For the first time in a very long time, they are going to score first. That is just horrible defending. I had like tunnel vision on Henderson. And I didn't even see Depay. He was just wide open. Okay, Memphis, that's a little close. But I was so worried about... Was it Henderson? I don't know. I think it might have been Firmino. I don't even know who that is. But I was so worried about him. And then Depay is literally just wide open. Okay, 27 minutes in. This has not been uh, the best of starts from us. Because we know how Liverpool play. We are going to get some chances to score. Hey, Cornelius might get a chance right away. He's not the quickest, but the man has 99 or like 90 something agility, which is very good. And that's actually a decent cross. Not going to work though. Okay, Mo Salah is becoming a problem in this game. Much more than he has in the past. Frederick Rowe though, that is good defending. Okay, Saka is injured. That's not good. We're trying to match center mid. He gets injured. Maybe he's just not cut out for it. Um, Cornelison, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, Saka, you're injured. Oh, we should have we should have got the ball to him there. Man, we've been sloppy in this game. All right, Saka has run off the injury. What an absolute mad lad. And he is just driving forward and left-footed finesse shot. Oh, yeah, he's not hes not injured. He's good. Saka is good. Man, I feel like he could be dangerous in that center mid spot. I feel like he could be dangerous because what he lacks in defensive stats, he makes up in pace. So, like, if Thomas Partey gets beat, Saka could track back, track back, and he's got some defensive stats to make some tackles. And he's got shots like that in him. Okay, tied game, 40th minute. So far, the experiment seems to have worked a little bit since the man scored. Odegaard, good ball to Nkunku. Nkunku, good turn. And, oh, we just took one extra two touch, or one extra touch. We would have shot a little bit sooner. It could have been a goal. Saka, get that to Cornelison. Oh, that's supposed to go to Saka. That was going to be beautiful. Odegaard instead. Okay, I should have got closer to goal there. Okay, I mean, 1-1. One, one, at least we tied this game up now. Second half, let's... let's Let's lock in a little bit and let's take the lead. Okay, okay. This is just really bad defending, but somehow they did not score from it. That was horrible. My defending needs to... I need to lock in, actually. Not my team. Okay, Tom... Oh, Thomas Partey. What kind of touch was that? I was about to give it to... Uh, I was about to give it to Odegaard. That was a horrible touch. Oh, Tomiyasu. Tomiyasu is just too strong. He is one of our uh, lowest rated players, Tomiyasu, but the man plays so good in game that I don't want to replace him at all. And Nkunku could be in here. Okay, that's not the greatest pass. Not a foul. Yeah, I was about to say, that's a foul. Last time we had this one close, I scored it. So, I'm doing it again. I'm not going to put any spin on it. We're just going to go straight forward. And it's into the back of the net. Okay. All of a sudden, I've become a free kick god. I didn't really do much, though. I literally just pressed shoot. When you're that close, I almost feel like there's no point putting spin on it, any backspin or anything. It also helps to have a guy who's good at free kicks, like Odegaard, to do most of the work for me. And, hey, that's the lead. I don't mind me a free kick goal, especially when I don't have to do much. Okay, Saka just stole the ball. I like to see that. And now he's going to play the ball over the top. Jesus. Oh, he's just hounded, though. Man, I was excited to start Cornelius in this game, but actually Saka's kind of stolen the show here. Okay, as soon as I say that. As soon as I say that, into... Oh, oh, rebound. That's actually into the net. We're a 3-1 up. Is that still going to count as an assist for Cornelison? It should, but I don't know if it will. It really should have went to Saka, though. Saka was in a better spot there. Cornelison did, did the most of the work, though, stealing it. And Odegaard, just one shot, rebound, into the back of the net. Um, Second half, we have come alive. 3-1. Okay. Oh, we just took out Salah. We just absolutely crunched him. But I, I think we actually prevented a goal in doing that. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Okay, let's make some subs. Um, Let's do Martinelli for Nkunku. And let's do Smith Rowe for Cornelison. Let's do that. I mean, we were we prevented a goal but they could still score this and they just hit the crossbar martinelli's gonna clear that okay we do prevent a goal thank you that does work out in the end and now jesus jesus is having such a quiet game he doesn't know about his future he's conflicted that was some pretty good dribbling though okay saka get that to smith row smith row dink over the top to bukayo saka i should have passed him maybe but oh, it was actually a save that was actually uh, on target though at least okay saka what do we got here I see someone far post. It is Gabriel Jesus, and he does get his goal. Saka with the assist. Jesus with the goal, and we're 4-1 up. I literally feel like crossing like this is more effective than actually sending it in from a corner. 
And Jay Seuss absolutely climbed for that. I mean, the man's got his goal. I just think if Real Madrid, especially Real Madrid, come in for him, man, it's going to be tough to say no. It is going to be very tough. You know, he's got his goal. So we're going to bring on Skamaka, who scored a bicycle kick in his debut. Let's see what we can do in this game. He's on for Gabriel Jay Seuss. The 6'5", uh, 6 5 Italian Lord. Okay, what was that? That was that was pathetic. Is Ruben Neves playing center back? Why is he? He's probably playing CDM, I think. It looks like he's playing center back, though. Hey, Saka, this is what I need you to... I need Saka to be good in these spots if he wants to play center mid. And, okay, we're just all... We're all over the place right now. Oh, it's just terrible defending. All my players are sliding so much. Like, I'm trying to take control of one player to put him back in position. And then everyone's just sliding. I mean, good thing it's 4-2 because I'd be more mad. But, okay. Let's just not let them score another. And... We do need to work on our defending still. Skamaka gets it to Martinelli. Skamaka. Okay, that's not to Skamaka. But, I mean, it was actually a decent cross. Oh, they're not going to score another, right? Nope. Saliba, good challenge. And we need to get this out. Tomiyasu will get it out. Okay, hopefully we don't get another. We don't concede another one. Okay, okay. Ramsdale, please. Ramsdale cannot save it. And it's 4-3. Man, my defending in these little situations has been so atrocious. Okay, 4-3. It's a very high-scoring game. But we should get the win still. Despite the uh, three goals conceded, I... Okay, we got to calm down. Smacka, please. Just keep it. Just hold it. You're 6-5. Just hold it. Oh, I like the pace. I like the pace. Okay, let's cross this in. You're 6-5. And... I mean, we forced Mignon to punch it out at least. What I was saying, we did we did concede three, but I feel like the Saka in midfield, the uh, experiment actually worked. I feel like he's not bad. I feel like it's a viable option for us. Now, is it better than Tillman's? I'm not sure, but it's a, it's a viable option. We could call it that. Okay, that was that was not bad. It was actually was not good. But 4-3 high scoring game, and it, it's still a win in the end of the day. Okay, Nezovich rejected some loans, but now he's finally loaned out to Wolves for a season. He's a CDM. He's pretty good. And now Bouvet, the next Terry Henry, offer from Granada. I mean, he's 78 overall. The fact that we're keeping Smith Rowe, our wingers, you have Cornelison, Smith Rowe, Saka. I feel like it's better to just loan out Bouvet again. Because at 78, I don't think he'd get much playing time, anyways. Okay, so offer for Eze, this time from Barcelona. And you know what? 39 million, that's probably a very good offer. So I'm just going to accept that. So he was going to Real Madrid, but now it looks like he's going to the other big team in Spain. I'm still waiting for this potential Jesus offer from Real Madrid. But okay, can we make it three wins out of three to start the year against Leicester City? Um, yes, we can. 4-2 in Kunku, Jesus, Jesus, and in Kunku. Okay, here it is. Transfer deadline day. This is where a decision must be made. So firstly, we sold Tavares, so we need another left back. Um, you guys suggested Cucurella, Tyreek Mitchell. I feel like Cucurella at Barcelona he, he probably would not leave Barcelona, so I feel like we should not sign him. So I feel like it's between Mitchell and then we found Guerrero, who's pretty cheap. I think his contract is uh, expiring. We got him and also uh, Zinchenko. I think he's been linked with Arsenal in real life, I think. I think Z since Zinchenko is linked in real life, I kind of think he's the one to sign that makes sense. It feels the most realistic-ish. Um, We'll do 27 million. That's probably should be enough-ish. I don't think he's... He's 27, so yeah. Um, They want Eze. Eze's gone, so that's not going to happen. They probably want a little bit more for him. Let's do, let's do like 30... Let's do 31. I mean, there's no reason to be stingy. Top left, you see how much money we have. So um, let's just do 32 and they're going to accept that. Now, if you guys know me, I do like players that are versatile and Zinchenko is that kind of player. So I, all that seems pretty good. Zinchenko signed up on deadline day. I mean, he's 82 overall, 27. He is, of course, very well-rounded. So I feel like that's not a bad pickup. Now, I'm scared. I'm scared if we get an offer for Jesus, I'm going to have to decide. If we don't get an offer, then he's pretty much staying. And if it's from Real Madrid, he very likely gone. Okay, Bouvet loaned out and as I sold to Barcelona. Now, I was looking at our bench and like, our bench does look pretty thin. We only have four players on the reserves. Well, I don't really feel like signing someone just to sign someone for that. So I think in case of, like injury, injury crisis, we could just recall uh, some of these guys on loan because we have a lot of good players on loan. We could recall if we need to. I think we're just going to go with that. Oh no, Gabriel Jesus transfer offer. Okay, but it's from Chelsea. It is from Chelsea. Now we said we were not going to sell Jesus to another Premier League team. So as of now, he survives. As of now, though. Man, I got very nervous. When it said Jesus, I got very nervous. Um, Newcastle United want Tarek Lamptey for 28.2. It's kind of a lot of money. Now, he did sign him. They got injured for seven months. Um, I don't think we need to replace him. I think he's fine for the reserves. Okay, yeah. Another Jesus transfer offer. But, but Joe Gomez has been approached by Everton. Now, we were kind of thinking about Joe Gomez to sign him to be like a third choice center back. So, we'll think about that. But Jesus transfer offer now is from Inter Milan. Oh, it is once again. I don't think. Especially since on the poll, you, the poll you guys voted for in favor of keeping him i think it's real madrid or or bust for jesus so we're not gonna sell him to inter milan but do we try and swoop this uh joe gomez deal because honestly say frederick Rowe or saliba get injured it would be teze who'd be like the next center back so i think we might try and swoop this deal to sign joe gomez now i totally forgot what everton paid for him but you know what 
again top left we got money so i think 64 million should be enough just kidding 81 should be enough how is joe gomez even atletico madrid though that's such a weird place for him to be so 80.3 i mean that's actually a lot but you know what we got the cash now frederick Rowe is gonna be my starter but as a backup, Joe Gomez is a pretty good third choice center back. Now, would he accept rotation? I'm curious. Okay, important. That's good. Just not crucial. So we have pretty much just swooped this deal from Everton and we've signed Joe Gomez. So there is our new third choice center back. And he does look like he's still growing this season. So that's still good too. My only worry with him is he's injury prone. That's my, this is only bad thing about him. But now we got three really good center backs in case one gets injured. Okay, two hours left and... As of now, Gabriel Jesus is still here. I think pretty much we sim this next hour. If there's no offer from Real Madrid or Barcelona, then Gabriel Jesus is staying at Arsenal this year. So we are going to sim one hour. Do we even offer Jesus? Do we? We do not. So we got no offer for Jesus. I think that means that the man is staying at Arsenal for this season at the very least. Probably the series, but the man is staying. I think since you guys voted, I mean, it's it's a small majority, but a majority still think we should keep Jesus. The only way we're going to sell him is if it was Real Madrid and I mean they never came in for him so Jesus is officially off the transfer list the man is staying and you know what let's give him a new contract just to just to celebrate it I mean linked with the move away the whole summer but at the last second decides to stay and you know what on top of it signs a fresh new contract now the man is 91 rated so he probably wants like probably 325 I think we gave Nkunku a new contract too and we gave him like that much so we, we got money to blow though so let's just let's give him that he should be content with that and he is yeah, bro, Jesus, new contract. Pretty much the main man of the series, the best player of this series is staying. So now this is our squad for the beginning of season four. I think we are going to play that sack in the midfield and Cornelison starting lineup a lot. That way we could get more game time for Cornelison. But we are basically running it, running it back with the same starting 11 other than Frederick Rowe in for Gabriel. Plus a new look bench of Joe Gomez, Zinchenko, and of course, Skamaka. So that is it for transfer deadline day. Okay, just for the just for the giggles, um, transfer deadline day is over. We got an offer from Southampton for Gabriel Jesus. Uh, Southampton, if we were going to sell him to, we're only going to sell him to Real Madrid. Why would we sell him to Southampton? Okay, now the transfer saga is over. We can focus on this season. So Saliba's up to an 89, which is very good to see. And I think you might have noticed too, uh, and Kungu is up to 94. That is pretty insane. We, we got to win the Champions League this season. We just have to. And speaking of Champions League, we, our group has been drawn. So in our Champions League group, it is going to be Arsenal, Barcelona Sporting, and BSC Young Boys. So I mean, we're going to face Barcelona. I mean, that's, I, I'm cool with that again i feel like in fifa there's never really any groups of death i feel like usually okay maybe that is okay that actually is real madrid juventus leipzig and ajax that is a group of death i feel like that doesn't happen very often though okay of course when i say that psg spurs dortmund okay fifa just makes me look like a fool you know what whatever next game is west ham can we make it four wins out of four team has rotated a little bit and it's still a 2-1 win saliba and telemans okay we've had a great start to the premier league four wins out of four but this is the competition that i am most worried about or most priority so this barcelona team they got ansu at striker taking a play out of my playbook torres fati guerez pedri de jong chuamini at cdm cucurella varan tomori and rosier now, i don't i don't know the right back i am i don't even know that's how you say his name but that team right there is pretty insane um i think we we just go with the regular starting 11 for this game and uh, we'll see how we can start the champions league against barcelona now although we did not make any changes to the starting 11 other than frederick Rowe, and you might consider that a downgrade in terms of overall i do feel like players have progressed and this season we have to win the champions league if we don't win the champions league this season it is an absolute failure on like an astronomical level so we gotta win the champions league we gotta get up to a good start here against barcelona and get this win and just start with uh with some good vibes in the champions league telemans oh i'm never shooting with you again why are my long shots so bad in this episode other than sack is i guess all right come on jay seuss you got a fresh new contract you should be like a fresh new man okay Saka again from this spot okay i you you know what i'm gonna say my strange diction long shots you know it jay seuss gets that to Nkunku, and Kunku lifts it for jay seuss jay seuss takes it down can't get the shot away though i think at the end of the day i'm glad we kept jay seuss he's been okay that was a bad pass but he has been the best player in the series by far scored almost he had 50 something what did he have last year 58 goal contributions the man is a beast so i'm glad we kept him and Nkunku is also a beast he is our highest rated player and ter Stegen makes a great save though okay barcelona having some very good ball movement and ansu fati just hit the hit the crossbar okay that was uh that was a venomous shot jesus gets that to tomiyasu cross in and kunku's there but uh rosier yeah, is it rosier i feel like it might be rosier for some reason i don't even know though but he, he cleared the ball it's funny that chuamini is at uh, barcelona he looks like he's going to real madrid in real life apparently not in this save though okay ansu stop 
Ansu, stop. Tell me, Asu, this is why you're a good right back. Because you win those headers. And not going to lie, Barcelona are giving us problems. Ansu is so quick there. It is actually insane. Ramsdale. Ramsdale comes up big, though. Okay, Barcelona giving us uh, some decent problems here. And Kunku, that's a great ball to Odegaard. Okay, what did their center back just do? I don't know. But Odegaard is in a score because that center back just came up to press him and just missed him. I'll take it, though. 1-0 up. I feel like we've been slightly the worst team in this game, so it's against the run of play. But right there, that center back just ran at Odegaard and just gave him the free lane. I mean, once again, I'll take it. 34th minute, we're up 1-0. Okay, Tyranny, please win that. Tyranny, that's a good clearance. I like to see that. Now, Odegaard to Nkunku. Where is Jesu? Straight. Oh, I just ran right into Chumini. Come on, a 1-0 lead against this team does not feel safe. So I want a second before halftime. It'd be beautiful. Taka. Get that to Jesus. Beautiful. Tillemans. Two. Oh, Odegaard. Martin. How did you miss that? That was actually beautiful. Okay, come on. Second half. Let's get the second goal. Let's get this lead a little bit more secure. Jesus. Chance to shoot. That was better, at least. Jesus. Two Odegaard. And Kunku. Just they're defending so well. And I just lost the ball right there. Man, onto a striker, even in like for the CPU, is still amazing. The man is so quick. And he's got really good passing. Ramsdale is coming up huge though in this game now jesus there is the opening for gabriel jesus we kept you we kept you and the man is gonna score this man is slowly becoming an arsenal legend and that is a two nil lead man we've been like i feel like we've still been second best in this game but we're up two nil i guess sometimes you just gotta you gotta get a win even though it's uh some dirty circumstances that is assuming we do win this game which is uh it's not over yet you know barcelona trying to press to try to get back in this but Honestly, it might be their downfall. Jesus gets it to Tillemans. Jesus, Jesus. Okay, what do we got? Okay, that's a pass. That was a pass. Oh, Tillemans, you should have stayed at the top of the box. Okay, Fernando Torres, Tomiyasu will catch up at some point, I think. I think. Yes, he will. Just don't let the ball get in. Don't let the cross get in. Just don't let, the, like, the inside pass. Beautiful, Tomiyasu. Okay, sack it in the midfield, and we are going to bring on... Um, Let's do Smith Rowe for Tillemans, actually. Oh, these are the weird circumstances that we do concede from. We do, Tomiyasu. Oh, that's so dangerous, but it does work. That was extremely risky. Okay, now they're caught out, though. Odegaard and Kunku, please. There you go, and Kunku. There you go. And Kunku in front of goal. And, okay, Ter Stegen again saves in a Kunku shot. We just got so close there. And Kunku's, like, almost too fast there. He's too fast for his own good. Now, if they score here, they got a chance. But Tomiyasu, very good defending. And that's going to go out on, actually, Fed on Torres. Okay, Tomiyasu just again. It's beautiful defending. Yeah, they're playing extremely aggressive. Saka runs from the midfield. And again, we get very close to Tristegan, but this time Saka is going to finish it. And Saka is actually scoring from the midfield like more than he does at right wing. I mean, they did go all out and it's just a wide open, uh, wide open space for Saka though. Okay, Cornelius and Jesus. Uh, Cornelius is going to try playing center forward. I'm going to try it right now just to see. And then Martinelli's on four in Kunku. I mean, Cornelius is 6 1. He's 6 1, so man can play striker, I think. Man, I am encouraged by this game. Like, I feel like we've been second best for most of it. Okay, now they're just going all out for it. So now we should make it four and we are going to make it four. But I feel like for the most part, when this game was actually competitive, we were second best and we still are going to win this game. Man, they're going all out for it. Calm down, Barcelona. You're just going to make this worse for yourself. Cornelison in on goal. He's going to shoot. And this is five. Bro, they're just like going all out for it. And it's going to get uglier, maybe. Come on, clean sheet. I want the clean sheet, though. I want the clean sheet. Oh, we just missed that last tackle and they get one. Oh, and this pain. Okay, you know what? Whatever. It's 5-1. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Okay, okay. There's the aggression when it works, I guess. Come on, let's get, let's get six. Martinelli. Martinelli. Why was that touch so bad? Oh, we just got shielded. Okay, a chance for six. One more chance. Cornelius Sin, we actually have. Oh, how do you blow the whistle there? That was going to be a Smith row volley. But okay, this one, this this game, 5-1 is a very unfair scoreline of Barcelona because they actually played very good in this game. Still, though, still a pretty comprehensive win. Okay, next game is Bournemouth in the Prem. Now, we won every game so far, so we can only keep it up. This game is going to be a 3-2 win. Jesus, Jesus, and Nkunku again. Okay, first time the second team gets to get a run out. Um, care about Cup Watford away from home? Why do I feel like this could be tricky? That's why 3-2 is actually very close, but Calvin Phillips, Cornelison, and Skamaka score. Okay, Brentford next. Come on, perfect streak. Let's keep it up. Perfect streak. It stays. Jesus and Kunku and Tierney score. Um, Champions League match day two against uh, Young Boys should win this. And 3 0. Jesus, Jesus, and Jesus hat trick. And one more game. Now, Burnley, this would be for seven wins out of seven games. And 3 0. Jesus, Jesus, and Tillemans. Okay. 
we have had a great start to this season. Yeah, seven games played, seven wins. Also, Leeds are in second behind us. Five wins and two draws. Like, what kind of start is that for Leeds? Well, we literally could not ask for a better start than this. I mean, actually, we've won every single game so far this season. Both Champions League games, the Community Shield, and all Premier League games and one EFL Cup game. So, we're invincible to start season four. But that comes at a risk in the next episode. We got Spurs and Man City. I mean, Jay Seuss, 12 goals in 10 games, even with like a rough start. I think at the end of the series, it'll show that it was a good decision keeping Jay Seuss. And it's what you guys voted for. I think this season we got a real shot at the Champions League. So as always, drop a like if you enjoyed it. Sub button down below if you've not. We're on the road to 100,000 subs. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great day.